Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it's Thursday, and I've got another review for you. Oh yeah, I was gonna do something awesome and exciting and like, yeah, review, do some kind of dancing, but I, I just didn't, I don't know what was about to happen there, but it wasn't very cool. I'm not very cool either. <laughs> I've lost it. I'm off the rails. Anyhow, I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I have a new review for you today, and that is Four Roses Small Batch Select. This one comes in at 104 proof. It is six, it's, it's a blend, you guys. It's a blend of six of 10 of the recipes that Four Roses does. So, is it good? Is it worth it? You've probably seen this on your shelf and thought, do I wanna buy that? It's about $60, I don't know. Is this one of those hidden gems that's just sitting on the shelf? Or is this one that you should just continue to pass? Well, I'm about to tell you, let's dive in on this one. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you. I'm so grateful for your support. Cheers to you. Ooh, that was like one of the best clanks I've had in a while. All right, now let's dive in. Let's see here, on the nose. On the nose, I get this like rich, sweet note right off the bat that has also a little bit of like a light spice in it. That sweetness is like a little bit of like a raspberry creaminess, but I also get some like a light amount of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, maybe even a little bit of ginger. The nose overall is just a little bit sharp, so you're gonna notice it right away. If I, if I jump into it, like sometimes I get like almost like a, a sour fruit, but not in a bad way. Like a sour, like, uh, like a sour apricot or something like that. Apricot, apricot, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. I don't even know. Dara, Dara. No, it's definitely Dara. Okay, so on the nose. The nose is not like anything that's going to blow you away. But now let's dive into the palette and see what happens here. Holy moly. The palette is just so darn delicious. Every time I take another drink of this, I fall more and more and more and more and more and more in love with it. The palette is so darn good. Right up front, you get this burst of that sweet, fruity, creamy, raspberry note, and then it rolls through mid palette and like even on the back side of the palette, you get this like rich, like almost like oats, rolled into french toast then like splashed with a little bit of cinnamon like to me this just literally tastes like raspberry creamy nutmeg vanilla mascarpone if that's how you say that like like a ridiculously delicious fruited french toast I don't really get the maple on there that i would get in french toast but i get like a fruity french toast like if you were just like oh so freaking delicious and the finish on it is really really nice i gotta take another sip of this because holy moly if you guys have been seeing this on the shelf and you haven't stopped to pick one up what are you thinking I, oh this is so good mm. and it's super oh super super crushable oh yeah even a little bit of oak mid to back palette that's really really nice that kind of shines through yeah nutmeg clove, ginger, vanilla. Mm. I love this. This is, oh, raspberries. That was like a ridiculously, like super fruity, but not in like a too sweet way, not in like a medicinal or, or like over syrupy way. No, it's like real, really good raspberries and cream and then spice. Sometimes it reminds me of like strawberries and cream, like a special K cereal that is kind of dusted in that cinnamon a little nutmeg in there that crunch the cereal crunch with the strawberries sometimes the raspberries there's a raspberry special k too just it's very very good oh yeah even some of like the oatmeal the raspberries and cream oatmeal so what this reminds me of if you sprinkled cinnamon on just a light amount of cinnamon some of that clove and nutmeg some of that allspice it's just really really nice and delicious and i love it mm. Oh yeah, this one makes me want to dance, but I'm gonna I'm gonna refrain, restrain myself. So now it's the part where I give you guys a score. And on this one, I am going to give this one 3.75 corks out of five. 
it's good, it's great, I highly recommend it. And this is one, like I said, is a hidden gem that's just sitting on the shelf everywhere. Like every liquor store I go to, every city, every state that I go to, I see this Four Roses Small Batch Select, 104 proof, a good variety of sweet, fruity, with spice, not any of that like florally note that you get from Four Roses, not like a super rich, intense, fruity note, just a really nice balance of light fruit, spice, creaminess. It's very delicious, very enjoyable, and comes in at like $60, like I told you guys earlier. So there's my score, there's my rating. Now everybody rush to the store to buy this one. If you haven't tried it, let me know what you think when you do buy it, if you have tried it, uh, let me know what you think. I'm curious to see if I'm the only crazy one out here that's like, holy moly, this is like such a good bottle. I don't, I feel like nobody talks about it, but it's such a good bottle. So, anyhow, I'm down ranting, rambling, doing my normal Dara thing, but I really appreciate you. So grateful that you're here. So grateful that you support the channel. I'll be back with so many more reviews, so much other content. As always, I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I will see you next time.